Good morning, guys. We are, good morning, Eli. Get ready to go on a mission. The mission involves this right here, breast milk. When Mary and I started the adoption journey, we said in the back of our minds, well, I guess we didn't say it in the back of our minds. It was in the back of our minds, and then we said it. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could like supplement our son or our child? We didn't know we were gonna have a son at this point. If, if our child, we could feed some breast milk from donors. And we didn't know how feasible that was. Like, where would we get it? And how would that work? And would our child accept the breast milk? All those details. And fast forward, Elijah is now, how old are you bud? Over two months old. And he has been exclusively breast milk fed by just this community of mamas who have donated breast milk, which is just amazing. And we, you ready to go? We are getting ready to hop in the car to go meet one of these mamas to get a delivery of breast milk. And we are so, so grateful. Yes. And amen. When we go for a breast milk pickup, we bring coolers and ice packs and we head on out. The car seat's in. The bib is in. I'm still sitting in the back because I don't want him to scream. <laughs> and if I can catch it before he screams and help him with whatever his need is, um, that's why I sit in the back. Sometimes I sit up front, but mostly I'm sitting in the back. I'm trying to think of the first time I ever heard of donor breast milk or donated breast milk. And maybe it was, whoa. At the light. Is that a turkey vulture? That was weird looking. I think it might have been one of my friends needed donated breast, or um, donor breast milk for her daughter for just like one bottle's worth. Um, I think her milk hadn't come in or something. So they had to purchase it from a milk bank. I guess that's how the hospital or birth center did it. So yes, there are a few different avenues for donated breast milk. One is a breast milk bank. I'm not super familiar with how that all works, um, but I know that it is very costly that way. Uh, the other way is through trusted donors that you know or people in your area that donate breast milk. And so our donors are sweet and trusted donors from our area around the Triangle who are over producers. Um, one of my friends is an exclusive pumping mom and her body makes more milk than her baby needs and she's chosen to donate it to babies all over the area and I think that is incredible. So Elijah is one of those babies who gets to benefit. And then it's frozen whenever we get oh, it. Oh yeah. And so we put it in the coolers and we take it home and we put it in deep freezers. That's yes. Right. So breast milk is, there are different like timelines for breast milk when it's frozen. Um, I don't actually know what the timeline is before it's frozen because I never have it before it's frozen. I think it lasts a couple of days in the refrigerator before it's frozen. I'm not, I'm not sure. Once it's frozen, if it's in a deep freezer, it can last six to 12 months. In a regular freezer, I believe it's up to six months. Um, so when we get it home, we put it in a deep freezer. We now have two deep freezers because people have been so generous with donating their breast milk. And then we just thaw it a few hours before he needs it. So we always have a couple of bags thawing in the fridge. And then we just get a, a little bit at a time so that it never goes, it never gets wasted. Once there are no more ice crystals in the milk, meaning it's completely thawed, then it lasts 24 hours. So yeah, that's how we do it. Just get out a couple bags in the morning, 
couple bags in the middle of the day. Um, but then again, some moms freeze their breast milk in two ounce bags, some in six ounces, some in 10 ounces. So you just gauge it by how much milk is in this bag, how long, how many feedings, etc., etc. So it's been a fun, interesting journey a whole new world to learn i guess yeah and just such a like rich and meaningful way that we're able to feed elijah like yeah. just having like we've said it before if, if we truly feel it takes a village and there's a village of mamas feeding our child and that's amazing yeah and it's been a gift to be able to build these relationships with these moms as well and for them to know, I mean, and Elijah's not the only baby they're nourishing, so he's one of many that they're feeding, and it's just, it's an honor. It's an honor to get to know them and to have that sweet and interesting bond. When someone is donating breast milk, it is customary, maybe? I don't know what the word would be, but it's nice for the recipient to offer replacement breast milk bags or pumping parts or whatever that pumping mama might need and so I we always offer like do you need any breast milk bags for that or like replacement bags and um, sometimes they have preferences on which brand of bag so then we'll order that that uh, brand of bag and but a lot of times the moms will just say no it's okay I don't need anything and it's just kindness kindness in the form of liquid gold as we're feeding Elijah it is not lost on us that a sweet mom nearby sat pumping and Elijah is the recipient of that effort and I often say when they hand us the bag of frozen breast milk, I say like, thank you, because that was a sacrifice that you decided to keep pumping so that another baby can eat. And it's just, yeah, just a big, big fat thank you to all the breast milk donors. Looking outside, looking outside, looking outside, oh yeah. <laughs> looking outside, I'm looking outside. Oh, what do you see? Looking outside. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking outside. Oh, yeah. He's looking outside. He's looking outside. Looking outside to see. What <laughs> do we see? We see trees. We see oh, buildings. Yes, we, we see trees. Oh, we see buildings. I didn't know the camera was there. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what you were looking for. No. What are you was, looking for? I was just wanting to see my baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking outside. He's, He's looking, looking outside. outside. Can you see if the camera can even see him? We make songs out of everything. Oh, yeah, I can. We, oh, he um, smiles. I was reading, like... I think nine week uh, like milestone things mm -hmm. and they start like noticing patterns of your lips so like oh. that's why like routines of songs are good cool. and like so they'll like recognize routine like patterns that makes sense he was really like observing my lips and smiling after I smiled last night oh cuz he's looking outside yes he's, he's looking, looking outside, outside. <laughs> <laughs> the pediatrician when we saw her two days ago she was like oh I love this motion he's doing with his arms <laughs> are you a little dancer Hi. all right breast milk pickup successful amazing two coolers full all for you buddy what do you see Oh, my little baby, and if it's quite all right, I love you, baby. Yes, it's quite all right, I love you, baby. Yes. <laughs> I just thought of something. What? Like, this person just pulled into the same parking spot 
what if we went up to the wrong car? Like, <laughs> like do you have, do breast you have the breast milk? <laughs> and they're like, what? What are you talking about? Mm. Oh, look, he's holding my neck. Oh, cutie. Yeah. He's hey. a little cutie. Hey. Oh, so tall. <laughs> It has a lot of work for one little shot. <laughs> we are home. Milk is in the freezer. We had to make another cup of coffee because, I mean, it was so dreary. We, on our way home, Mary and I were both feeling like maybe we got run over by a truck. And last night was not like a terrible night. Yeah, for no. Elijah. He, he actually had his longest stretch of sleep, I think, ever last yeah. night. Um, but when I woke up after that stretch of sleep, my body was like, hey, you just had a long stretch of sleep. You should stay awake. <laughs> well, so that might be a contributing to my tiredness, but, um, but that doesn't contribute to my tiredness. So there must just be a dreary feeling of the day. I, it's but we had our coffee and then all of a sudden it was like the coffee made the sun come out. The sun came out to see us. We got these uh, like folding rocking chairs for Christmas and they are pretty awesome. It's like, um, you know, athletic chairs that you take to, what do you call them? Like camping chairs. Camping chairs. Okay. <laughs> I just, in my mind, it's what you take to a sports game to yeah. watch. Yeah, you know? Definitely. So, anyways, but Do they... Do you think we'll take these to, like, little soccer games and stuff? I he's playing soccer? I think so. But hmm. they are so nice because they have that little, like, suspension rocker. So, I brought it out here for Mary. We're just, like, soaking up the sun. Feels really good. Are you feeling less dreary? Yeah. Me too.